Hey, I'm Jim Wise, and this is my sports story. When I was 11 years old, I was the shortstop for the major Cubs at North Venice Little League. We were a good team. So good, in fact, that we made it to the playoffs. And in the bottom of the sixth inning, the final inning of the final game, we were beating the Tigers 11 to eight. Our pitcher, Victor, struggling with an uncharacteristic bout of shakiness, had loaded the bases on walks with only one out. So in order to sort of reset his frame of mind, the coach, Mr. Albee, came out and called a meeting on the mound with all of the infielders. Coach Albee said, Victor, just throw to these kids. You got seven good guys behind you. And we all said, yeah, come on, Victor, and slapped him on the ass. Maybe we slapped him on the ass. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. The next batter was a kid named Suava Hrofensen. His family was from Iceland. Victor quickly got two strikes on him, and we were all chanting, hey, batter, 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 hey, batter, batter, batter. And Coach Albie reminded us, infielders, the play's at first base. And then, dink, Suava hit a slow roller just past the mound. It was my ball. And suddenly, everything turned to slow motion. I don't know why, but instead of throwing to first, I threw home. I could even hear Coach Albie going, no! But the ball was already out of my hand and on the way to the catcher, Mike, Victor's brother. The runner beat my throw. That's one run in, 11 to nine. But Mike had to play at third. So we fired the ball over the third baseman's head and into left field. Another run came in, 11 to 10. By the time I took the cutoff from left field, the game was tied and Suava Hrofensen was rounding third. I wasn't gonna let him score. After all, this was America's game. So I fired the ball home, all the way to the backstop. And my 22nd nightmare ended with Suava Hrofensen scoring and the Tigers winning the game and the championship. You know, I try not to be bitter about being beaten by that kid from Iceland, but to this day, I still can't listen to Bjork. That's when I realized I wasn't very good with pressure and why I got into comedy. <laughs>